What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beat of Business with me, Ravi Wadden. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you why Nexus is better than Global Entry and TSA PreCheck. And for those of you that are not familiar with Nexus, Global Entry, or TSA PreCheck, they are all trusted traveler programs offered by the US Customs and Border Protection Agency. And all three of these programs allow pre-screened travelers expedited processing when they are traveling. In this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you guys so that you not only have a better understanding of these three trusted traveler programs, but you will also be able to make a informed decision as to which trusted travel program is right for you. So the way that I'll structure this video is that I'll rank each one of these trusted traveler programs from the worst value to the best value. And hopefully after watching this video, you'll have a much better understanding of which program you should apply for. And if you get value from this video, please be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing so that others are recommended this video. And with that, let's start with my least favorite trusted traveler program, which is TSA PreCheck. So what is TSA PreCheck? I think most of you all are familiar with TSA PreCheck, but for those of you that are not familiar with TSA PreCheck, it's an expedited screening program that makes risk assessments about passengers prior to their arrival at an airport. In a nutshell, TSA PreCheck will give you access to these lines at over 200 airports around the country. As someone who has TSA PreCheck clearance, I can tell you that having TSA PreCheck has saved me dozens of hours at security lines and airports over the past five years. But what are the benefits of TSA PreCheck? The main benefit of TSA PreCheck, as I already sort of touched on, is that you'll save a lot of time at airport security. According to the TSA PreCheck website, in June of 2022, 94% of TSA PreCheck passengers waited less than five minutes at airport security. On top of saving time with TSA PreCheck, you also don't need to remove your shoes, you don't need to remove your laptops from your bag, you don't need to remove your belt, and you don't need to remove your jacket. And personally speaking, removing your shoes and your belt and taking off your jacket and pulling your laptop out of your bag and placing it in a separate container just makes the whole security process long and unnecessarily stressful. So how do you apply for TSA PreCheck? Applying for TSA PreCheck is very simple. You wanna to go to tsa.gov forward slash PreCheck and from there you can hit the apply now button. The application takes about five minutes to complete and you can schedule an appointment at over 380 enrollment centers around the country. Once you've applied, you will need to schedule an appointment and enroll in person. And during this appointment, you will submit your fingerprints and they will conduct a background check. So how do you use TSA PreCheck? So once you've been approved for TSA PreCheck, you'll be provided with a known traveler number. And to my knowledge, the known traveler number is a nine digit number, at least mine is. And every time you make a travel reservation with an airline or with a booking website like Expedia, you will enter your known traveler number in the dedicated text box. By doing this, when you print out your boarding pass, it'll have a little TSA PreCheck logo on it, which will allow you to use the TSA PreCheck lines at the airport when you travel. So how much does TSA PreCheck cost? Right now, TSA PreCheck costs $85 for five years, and although it is a great program and $85 really isn't a lot of money, you don't really get much bang for your buck, and I don't really recommend getting TSA PreCheck on its own, and you'll understand why once I cover Global Entry and Nexus. My second favorite trusted travel program is Global Entry. Global Entry is a US Customs and Border Protection program that allows expedited clearance for pre-approved low-risk travelers upon arrival in the United States. To describe it in a nutshell, when you are traveling back to the United States after visiting a foreign country, Global Entry allows you to bypass the traditional customs and immigration line and use a Global Entry kiosk at airports. And as someone who has Global Entry, I can tell you that Global Entry is an absolute lifesaver. I've personally come home from overseas trips to Europe and Asia to customs and immigration lines that can be hours long, and being able to bypass those lines with Global Entry is amazing. So what are the benefits of Global Entry? The reason that I love Global Entry so much is that with Global Entry, not only do you get to use Global Entry kiosks when you come back from a foreign destination, but Global Entry also includes TSA PreCheck. And that's why I often recommend people to completely bypass applying for TSA PreCheck altogether and instead apply for Global Entry because TSA PreCheck is included. 
So just to make this clear, when you apply for global entry, you don't need to separately apply for TSA PreCheck. Global entry includes TSA PreCheck. The other benefit of global entry is that you can use your global entry card for expedited entry into the United States via Sentry and Nexus lanes. So for those of you that travel by car to Canada or Mexico, with global entry, you can use the Sentry and Nexus lanes but only when you are coming back into the United States. And just in case you're curious, all of this information is directly from the US Customs and Border Protection website. I'm not just making this stuff up. So how much does global entry cost? Global entry costs $100 for five years or $20 a year. And if you frequently travel domestically or internationally, it is worth every single penny. And the reason that I recommend global entry to so many people is because a five-year membership is only $15 more than TSA PreCheck and it includes TSA PreCheck and you get to use Nexus and Sentry lanes when you are crossing the border by car. So how do you apply for Global Entry? To apply for Global Entry, you'll need to create a trusted travel program account on the Customs and Border Protection website. And once you've done that, you'll need to complete the application and pay your $100 non-refundable fee. After this, Customs will review your application and if your application is conditionally approved, you will then be instructed to schedule an interview at a Global Entry Enrollment Center. And these centers are located throughout the country, primarily at international airports. And I'll be sure to put the link for applying to Global Entry in the description below. Another helpful tip is that Global Entry also has an enrollment on arrival program that lets you schedule your interview when you arrive from a foreign country. And I'll also place that link in the description below. So how do you use Global Entry? In terms of how you use Global Entry, let's use a real world example. Let's say you just got off a plane that is coming back home from Italy. Once you get off the plane, you're gonna head towards customs and immigration. And once you get there, you will see Global Entry fast lanes with Global Entry entry kiosks. And once you get to this kiosk, you'll need to scan your passport, place your hand on the fingerprint scanner, and you will be given a printed receipt that directs you to baggage claim and the exit. And like I said earlier, global entry will save you so much time, especially if you're going through customs and immigration, when multiple planes coming from foreign destinations are landing at your airport at the same time. Now let's talk about my favorite trusted traveler program, Nexus. The Nexus program allows pre-screened travelers expedited processing when entering the United States and Canada. One of the misconceptions of Nexus is that with a Nexus card, you only have access to the Nexus lanes when you are traveling to Canada by car. But that simply is not true because Nexus truly takes global entry and TSA pre-check to the next level. So what are the benefits of Nexus? As I mentioned earlier, the main benefit of Nexus is that you'll be able to use the Nexus lane when you are traveling by car between the United States and Canada. If you've ever traveled to Canada by car, you know that border wait times can easily exceed one hour. But if you have a Nexus card, the wait times are rarely over five minutes. But the best thing about Nexus is that it's an all encompassing program because it includes TSA PreCheck and it includes global entry and you get to use the Sentry lanes when you're visiting Mexico, Nexus literally gives you everything. And the best part is that Nexus is the cheapest program of the three, but I'll get to that in a minute. So just to be clear, Nexus includes TSA PreCheck and it includes Global Entry, so you do not need to apply for TSA PreCheck or Global Entry separately. And before I forget, another benefit is that with Nexus, you can use the expedited lanes at Canadian airports. For example, I live in Seattle, but let's just say I was catching a flight from Vancouver, BC. Now I could use my Nexus card for expedited security clearance in Canada as an American citizen. So what does Nexus cost? The cost of Nexus is what makes it my favorite trusted traveler program. Nexus costs just $50 for a five year membership or $10 a year. And as I mentioned earlier, it includes global entry and TSA PreCheck. So not only is it cheaper than the other two programs, Nexus actually includes them for only $50 for five years. So in terms of value and bang for your buck, Nexus is hands down my favorite trusted traveler program on this list. So how do you use Nexus? So you can use your Nexus card in a variety of different ways. So when my wife and I travel to Canada by car, we can just scan our Nexus cards at the border crossing, have a quick you know, 10 second discussion with the border agents, and we are through. And the same goes for when we are traveling back to the United States by car. But Nexus also comes with a known traveler number, which you can use for TSA PreCheck, 
and it connects to your passport so that you can use the global entry kiosk when arriving into the US from a foreign destination. Now, for those of you that wanna read up on Nexus a little bit more, I will leave the link to the Nexus homepage on the US Customs and Border Protection website in the description below. So how do you sign up for Nexus? So the process for signing up for Nexus is nearly identical to signing up for global entry. But since Nexus is a joint venture between the US Customs and Border Protection Agency and the Canadian Border Services Agency, the process can take a little bit longer because the Americans have to do their due diligence and the Canadians have to do theirs. But in a nutshell, you will need to fill out the application. And after you fill out the application, you will need to schedule an interview at a Nexus enrollment center. And once that's done, you will be free and clear. I went through the Nexus interview process about four years ago, and I think it was a three month process from start to finish, mainly due to the fact that you have to wait a little while for an interview. But as much as I love Nexus and as much value as I get out of it, it definitely has some downsides that you should be aware of, and these downsides are operational. The first downside of Nexus is that there aren't very many enrollment centers across the country. And since it's a joint venture between Canada and the United States, most of the enrollment centers are along the Canadian border. And after looking at the website, there are only 12 Nexus enrollment centers in the entire nation. The second downside of Nexus is that there are hardly any appointments available to schedule an interview. Now I've been doing some digging around and if you were to apply for Nexus today, the chances are you wouldn't get your Nexus card for at least six months and possibly longer. In terms of my final thoughts, I think that Nexus is the best trusted traveler program out there. It's cheaper than TSA PreCheck and Global Entry, and it actually includes TSA PreCheck and Global Entry. Go figure. But the problem with Nexus, as I mentioned, are that the wait times are extremely high to get an interview, and there aren't that many enrollment centers. And most of the enrollment centers are along the Canadian border, so for those of you that don't live close to Canada, scheduling and getting to an appointment could be a challenge. Now with all things being considered, if getting Nexus seems unattainable, either due to wait times or due to the locations of the enrollment centers, I would strongly recommend that you apply for global entry. It's a close second to Nexus and appointments are readily available all across the nation and Global Entry includes TSA PreCheck. Remember, Global Entry is $100 for five years and TSA PreCheck is $85 for five years. But I strongly think that Global Entry is worth the additional $3 a year because it just comes with so many other benefits. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a video. Make sure you check out my other content and be sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok because I'm posting on those platforms almost daily. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.